Yeah, so uh, my three tips for bluffing are uh, one, that you want to be the one having control of the pot. You don't want to be the one that's calling pre-flop and then whatever. You want to be the one that's raising initially or the one that's re-raising initially pre-flop. That's going to make you take control in the hand. And if you don't have a strong hand, people are already going to give you credit for a strong hand. So that's very important. Uh, also bluffing is you have to take a good line. You need to tell a story. So, um, you know, on a, if you're just like check, 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 the checks around on the flop, checks around the turn, then the river, you just put a big bet out. Like that looks bluffy. Like that's not a good story. You want to like, you want to tell a story about betting and based on the board, you, you want to be active in a hand and, and kind of tell, make sure your hand tells a story, not just one bet. Uh, and then let's see, another tip for bluffing is uh, be convincing. You have to uh, make sure you, you, you have the same routine. You know, you don't want to like do one thing one time, one thing another. Be very consistent in your bets and your sizing. So like consistency, uh, whether you have a big hand or not. So I think that falls into the bluffing range because, um, yeah, you want to you be balanced and you need to bluff. Do the same thing as when you don't have a good hand and you have a good hand. Yeah.